is your gift powerful enough to save lives? Yeah, absolutely. This is Charlie Goldsmith at work. He claims he can cure the sick without even touching them. What are you doing? <laughs> it's uh, amazing. Arthritis, infections, chronic pain and much more. Charlie says he can heal them all with just his energy. And he does it for free. A lot of people sitting at home watching this will be shaking their heads thinking, what a crock. Mm -hmm. This guy is either a con artist or he's crazy. Mm -hmm. Are you a con artist? They're two obviously really great options to <laughs> choose from. Are you a con artist? I'm not a con artist and I, I don't believe I'm crazy either. <laughs> you feel good? We've spent months investigating Charlie's claims, putting him to the test with people we've handpicked in front of two respected doctors. I'm always in pain, and it's a 7 out of 10. Yeah, that's definitely better. I don't think what Charlie's doing is likely really to work any more than sitting down with a friend and having a cup of tea. I'm <laughs> just a bit overwhelmed. That's all right. Sorry, I never thought I was going to be able to do that. All I can say is, I saw it, so therefore I must believe it. Just give me a second. Tonight, we'll show you the results. It's gone. I feel like I was leaving my body. So you can decide if Charlie is the real deal. How did you just do that? For more than a decade, Hayley Caffarella has been living a private kind of hell. A bad day, I would wake up in just agony. I often am sobbing. I do not have a pain doctor taking care of me. Um, they are arrogant bastards who don't want to listen. It's a chronic pain condition that can affect either a region of your body or um, several regions, or in my case, it's spread all the way around and affects my entire nervous system. Hayley has complex regional pain syndrome, or CRPS. It's called the most painful condition on earth, more excruciating than childbirth, or having a finger amputated. Worse still, there's no cure. Let's see what happens. For Hayley, some days are so bad, she's confined to a wheelchair. What feels like a light touch to me feels like your bones are breaking. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes um, even just having clothing on is way too painful. It feels like the clothing is fire or something. Like, it feels like it's, it's an attack just to be touched. Every few months, Hayley is admitted to hospital. For five days, she's hooked up to an IV drip, flooding her body with the powerful sedative ketamine. And what about mentally? Oh, uh, yeah, it's, I feel like I've been to hell and back psychologically. I've been severely depressed. I've suffered really, really severe anxiety. I've, um, I've been treated for post-traumatic stress disorder. You'd do anything to stop it. You'd do anything to swap. You'd do anything to wish it away, hope it away, work it away, but it just doesn't go away. The only thing that has kept her going is her family and partner, Tim. You guys are pretty desperate for something to work. Absolutely. Thank you. You don't want to go on like this for at all, but it's hard to see a future sometimes. They call it the suicide disease because people do kill themselves. Has it ever got to the point where you're just like, I need out? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've definitely felt like that. I've definitely thought, yeah, um, that's it, I'm done. I cannot do this anymore. Charlie Goldsmith's arrival offers a tiny glimmer of hope. Haley's never met an energy healer, but figures she has nothing to lose. Hi. Hi. Haley. Yes. Charlie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come on in. Thanks. Doctors say they can't cure CRPS, but Charlie says Hi. 
He's healed two of the four cases he's seen. I've got an extreme pain in the centre of my lower back, just above my pelvis, yeah. um, shooting down through my hips. Yeah. Yeah, usually I would feel pain through my hands, my feet, my legs, like sort of the further you go down my limbs, the more painful it is. Yeah. Um, I've got pain through the side of my face mm -hmm. and my jaw. And do you ever have no pain? Like your whole body just feels good? <laughs> no, it doesn't no. happen. Okay. But how does yeah. this work? You don't do anything, just... <laughs> Closing his eyes, he focuses his energy on Hayley for about 30 seconds, then checks in with her. Okay, now how, how about in the face? That feels a lot better. <laughs> Actually, mm -hmm. it's really surprising. It's and your back. Um, the back is definitely still sore, but not as sore. What are you feeling inside your body when you're doing it? Not a great deal. It's kind of subtle. It's more like I will feel like magnetic pulses going around my body. Why do your eyes flutter the way they do? I don't know. So if I could stop it, I would. Now, how about in the face? As I speak, actually, the jaw's sort of going back to how it did feel. OK. And what about the rest of your body? I can actually feel more pain through <laughs> my shoulders and yeah. my upper back. Stand here. I'm just going to... And face away from me. Is it... It's just here? How does it actually work? Do you put your energy inside someone else? So that's a complicated question that's probably beyond my ability to answer. OK, so just sit down again. Sorry to make you do that. I just want to see. No, that's OK. This is really weird. Mm -hmm. Like, there's still pain, but there's less mm -hmm. Is painful. it a lot less? It's, yeah, it's a lot less. A lot less, yeah, OK. And the, in, in your jaw now? Um, not particularly painful, just weird. 45 minutes in, the pain relief Charlie has given Hayley feels similar to being given the sedative ketamine. OK, now how are your hands? Yeah, I don't know what you're doing, but they, <laughs> they feel like they do when I um, am on ketamine. Yeah, right. That's the sensation. Mm -hmm. They're like, they shrink back to feeling like... Feeling how they should. ..hand-shaped. Yeah. Instead of, like, I've got big Mickey Mouse gloves on. And I'm not hobbling. Like, I'm probably looking at... I'm probably going too far. But every time I've got up and taken a step today, I've been... You haven't been walking that well hobbling. in weeks. <laughs> this is really weird. What, what couldn't you do before? The way I just hit my hand to my leg... Yeah. ..that would usually hurt my hand a lot, and it's not doing that. It didn't. What about after ketamine, though? After ketamine, it would still hurt, actually. Yeah. It just so this is be I'm better than ketamine, is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. So far. <laughs> when Charlie leaves, I ask Hayley to be completely honest about what she's feeling. That was really bizarre. I didn't think it would do anything, honestly. I thought it was a pretty long shot, but... This is better than what you would normally have when you have to go into hospital and have really hardcore drugs pumped through you? Oh, much better. I go into hospital, get all, all these drugs put through me, I have a bunch of side effects, I spend a week in bed, and then I might feel like this. But, I, you know, I also feel nauseous and... This is... really bizarre. <laughs> I honestly didn't expect, didn't expect it to do anything. Charlie Goldsmith was 18 years old when he first felt a strange sensation between his hands. He says he soon discovered this energy could heal people. Worried about exposing himself to a world of doubters, he wanted to keep his gift secret until science supported his claims. 
Did you ask yourself, am I making this up? Am I going crazy? Oh yeah, for years even, I would, I would be like, is this a dream? My logical brain was like, this is impossible. After years of pleading with hospitals and universities, in 2013, doctors at New York University's Lutheran Hospital let Charlie treat patients they couldn't help. I worked on them and within, you know, a very, very short time, a minute or two, 80% um, of them responded hugely to what I was doing. To me, that's not really a scientific study. It's a series of anecdotes and, and a story. Lacks credibility. Just the methodology was so slack and poor. It really wasn't an experiment of any sort. Well, Charlie can say he works 80% of the time, but to me, he currently has no evidence that he works for 80% of the time. Hi, Hi. I'm Jada. Dr Justin Coleman Jada. is a self-proclaimed skeptic. We're about to see how Charlie's gift holds up under the scrutiny of one of his critics. So do you think he's delusional? I think he's, he has beliefs which are not rational and not really um, justifiable, I suppose. I always tell everyone I can't do everything. I just do my very best. So if I can't help you, I apologise. The pressure is on. This is Charlie Goldsmith's chance to prove he really can heal these five patients. You don't have to do anything. I'm just going to do my thing. Using only his energy under the sceptical eye of Dr Justin Coleman. What do you think you're going to see today? I think I'm going to see a charismatic bloke come in and uh, wave his hands over people and ask people whether they feel better afterwards or not. I'm trying to get a sense of what would impress you. <laughs> How many would have to say there was a difference before you'd go, hmm, maybe this guy's onto something? In all honesty, I, I find the underlying um, mechanism so implausible that it would require a, a huge amount of evidence for me to um, convince me that, that it might happen. I'm just a train wreck, really. I just, um, you know, worn everything out. First up is 68-year-old John Fegan. I had major back surgery and hip replacement and, um, and uh, both shoulders are gone. I can't sort of... You know, so and the thumbs thing. are gone. <laughs> can't, they're really painful all the way up here. And, um... Okay, so we need to start with your left thumb. Does it hurt at all now? Um, well, not like it was. <laughs> John's thumbs and feet feel better, but the relief doesn't last. Still, he is intrigued. I think there's something here, there's something happening. I do need spinal surgery at some point. Next is Anthony Voland. I get pain down my left side. Mm -hmm. It stops at the back of my hip. Mm -hmm. If I cough or sneeze, it's like someone stabbed me with a knife. OK. His results are much better. And just bend over, tell me what you notice with your back. No pain there. Now, if I do that, I'm always in pain, and it's a 7 out of 10. Uh -huh. I've got about a 2. So you came in here not expecting much. Nah, to be honest, I was very sceptical. <laughs> and I thought, oh, I'll, I'll just do it because I've got nothing on today. I've got a tiny bit there and before I couldn't do. And I thought, maybe I'm just too old and cranky and sceptical for him to heal. That's what I thought. Yeah, I'm wrong. And now you're walking out of here touching your bloody toes again. I know, I know. And anyone that knows me knows I haven't done that for a long, long time. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely correct but no idea how he did it. No, I don't. And to be honest, I don't really care. Next, Charlie tries to help Jada Burns, another person suffering with complex regional pain syndrome. Down my whole right side. Yeah. Right side of my face, my head, and now it's just gone into this hand, but this hand can still be touched. Yeah. But nobody, not even my husband's touched. 
this hand or arm in nearly two years. Yeah, right, OK. OK, and now? I just, I feel more relaxed. Yeah. But it's still relaxed with heaps of pain. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Usually, if I don't get an effect nice and quickly, it's not a great sign with me. My pain is still there quite badly. Surprisingly, like, I did have pain in my hips, but I didn't even mention that to him, and that's actually not there, so that's, that's really good. I basically have pain every day, yeah. everywhere in my body. 16-year-old Meg Reid has juvenile arthritis. She gets some relief while Charlie works on her. And now? The pain in my back is gone, mm -hmm. and my knees don't hurt. How are you feeling? The first time he did it, it was like I could feel the pain leaving, and then, like, a couple minutes later, it just came back. You ready? 11-year-old Chloe Troughton has the same condition. I have arthritis everywhere in my body. Yeah. I had it when I was 16 months. Mm-hmm. I want you to walk again to the table. I mean, tell me how your knee feels. Um, feels a bit better. It does? Yeah? Did it hurt? It's okay if it did, but I just... No, it didn't hurt. It didn't hurt that time? So I want you to step up on here. How was that? It hurt right here, cos I removed my muscle. Yep. All right, and again? It's not hurting anymore. It's not hurting? No. Okay, that's okay. So get back down. I want you to test your jaw for me. Okay. My jaw back of it's hurting. Yeah, it hurts there. All right, do it again. It's better. It's better. How's the rest of your body feel? It feels fantastic. You feel good? <laughs> OK, good. I think Charlie's a miracle. I really do. He has a gift. Thank you, Charlie, for fixing me. I think you're a very, very nice person for fixing people that have disabilities. <sighs> She's very sweet. You wanted to give Charlie a hug, didn't you? <laughs> no. You feel good? Dr Coleman remains unconvinced. You've seen Charlie in action. What did you think? It was impressive. Uh, that, that people did feel he'd helped them. I don't think it, it's evidence that, that the magic did occur while he was blinking or holding his hands together. So you're still convinced it's placebo and nothing more? There's nothing I saw today to make me think it was outside the normal realm of human interaction as opposed to a supernatural extra force that somehow fixed them. Charlie Goldsmith says he has a gift. His critics say it's simply the gift of the gab. The real test is whether he can do what traditional medicine can't. In the doctor's surgery, he said, I can't believe you're even walking. Linda Hayhurst has osteoarthritis. Nuts and bolts are holding her back together. She's had both hips replaced and walks with a permanent limp after two knee operations. Linda's been a patient at the practice for six years mm -hmm. and she has chronic, constant lower back pain due to a... Gold a Coast GP, Dr Karen Coates, has 30 really years experience. She's keen to see if Charlie can do what she and her colleagues can't. Does it surprise you that a lot of doctors we rang as part of this story wanted to have nothing to do with Charlie Goldsmith? It doesn't at all. I'm at that age and, and situation in my professional development where I really don't care about what other people think if I've got the uh, confidence that what I'm doing is the right thing for the people who I'm looking after. 
You don't give a stuff what no, they think. No, and I think it's a matter of getting out of your ego and, and basically sitting down and listening with an open mind. Do you ever have a good day? I oh, don't have a day without pain, no. Linda can't bend her right leg unassisted. Um, well, normally I have to pull it up. To help your leg yourself? Yeah. Got if it. I get in and out my car, I'm like this. OK. OK, now walk again. How's your back feel? Yeah, it doesn't feel as painful as it was before. OK, so just take a seat back up here. OK. How is it now? Mm, it's good. Yeah? It's better. So no pain? Not any pain, no. no. OK. It just feels a lot better. I imagine that stairs are the, the greatest because it's going to affect back, hip, hips, yeah. uh, knees. I, I want to see if you're comfortable. I did see a set of stairs down the hall. Oh, that'll be good, yes. Yeah. Interesting. I can't flex this knee properly, so I'm going up sideways like a crab. <laughs> right. It hurts a lot. <laughs> it looks horrible. Yeah. Let's go do it. <laughs> Linda tentatively climbs a flight of stairs. Oof. No. Ah, no pain. That? No pain. No pain? That's good. That's great. Just tight. Sorry. No, you're all right. Um, just, do you want to just go again a couple of steps? I just want to see. Yippee. And it felt good? How's the tightness that time? It was okay. All right, back's good. Hips good. Knees good. I think the biggest thing is practice will will get you comfortable doing the things you couldn't do before. Yeah. I'm <laughs> just a bit overwhelmed. That's all right. Sorry, I never thought I was going to be able to do that. <laughs> just tell me why you're feeling so emotional. Oh, this, I've had this for so long. My back. My hips and my knee, I was only new, and that was going to destroy me because I, I just can't walk properly, you know? I've got a constant limp and it's just... I can't even go out because I just feel like... I get up and I go, oh, and I limp to the toilet, you know, and I just hate it. It's just awful. I can't explain it. All I can say is I saw it, so therefore I must believe it. So, Linda, we have some stairs here. Show me what you can do these days. It's been six weeks since Linda had her session with Charlie. And there's no pain? No. No, and before I, I had to go down like this, but now I could just go like this. How long has it been since you felt this good? At least 20 years ago. That's when I first started getting hip and back pain. Your specialists were saying you had to have back surgery and now you're saying that you don't think you want it, you need no, it. I don't need it now. I don't need it. He's a pretty gill. It's hard to describe how amazing that is. When you've had it for so long and all of a sudden it's gone, it's like, I can't fake it. But where does it come from? How does he do it? How many people get a second chance at life? I've just been given a second chance. For Anthony Voland, it's a dramatically different story. It's been six weeks since you've seen Charlie. How are you doing? I'm, I'm back to where I was before, in pain again. But for that day that I saw Charlie and that whole night, I was completely pain-free. And I thought, this is amazing. But uh, unfortunately, I woke up in the morning and the, the pain was back. But something definitely happened. There's no doubt about that. Uh, no one will convince me otherwise that something didn't happen. You know, I've been disabled for nearly 12 years, and now I'm not. <laughs> when Charlie met Hayley Caffarella two months ago, she was suffering with the neurological but condition now, Complex Regional Pain Syndrome. I thought I was going to suffer and then die. I thought that was it. Now, her future is looking bright. Tell me about the little crazy things that you're getting excited about. <laughs> Like doing more than one load of washing, <laughs> doing three in a day, hanging it outside, not just inside on the line, unpacking the dishwasher and then repacking it all in one go. 
And how do you explain this transformation? Magic. <laughs> you look beautiful. And Chloe Troughton's juvenile arthritis pain hasn't returned since the day she met Charlie. Chloe's mum, Rebecca, still can't believe it. It is like a miracle to me, um, watching her being able to do these things that she couldn't do before we met Charlie. So it's great. It's absolutely great. So have you had any pain in your knee? Have you been able to get back to being a normal school kid? <laughs> I have been able to be a normal school kid. <laughs> Has that been fun? Yes. <laughs> I can run, I can jump, I can do other things. You can dance. Yes, I can.